Just curious. To my, to my email? Yeah. Are you not logged into your school account? Or I, I just logged in right now, yeah. And um, But I didn't. I don't have email open, so I'll just open that. What are you looking at? My Google community for the Nothing kids are? Okay. Because we have our own community where everybody posts it. That's good. Was it a notification or an email? I'm in my Google Hangouts for school, and I just sent you an invitation oh. to a Hangout. See, there's something that I don't use is Google Hangouts. Yeah, that's great for bringing guest speakers into your classroom. Yeah. So, in the last session, we we're talking about how maybe creating connections between elementary and secondary. So it'd be kind of neat, you know, with it's just a, with a two Chromebooks. That's like the total of two Chromebooks. You could have two classes talking to each other. So, you know, I always think about it with a grade five class when they're doing human systems. It would be kind of cool if they set up a, a session, say, with a grade nine science class who are also studying the same topic. Mm -hmm. And then maybe the grade fives will be asking the grade nines questions, and then they can have a conversation going back and forth. And then there's your lesson, maybe for 30 minutes. And it's just mm -hmm. using a tool that's built in to the Google Apps for Education. And that's awesome. And, and that's what I mean is that we bring experts in that, that aren't that far removed from right. the kids that we're teaching. Right. So oh, if, I, like I didn't know anything about this Hangout until 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so, how would I learn about that if I had come today? Like, is there a, a site I can go yes. to that has the different apps? Is it Chrome? Um, okay, my suggestion is to uh, no PD Place from our school board. If you're from oh, just Dutch. go, yeah. Just and and go PD there. Place, you will find that there's sessions. I, I do four sessions a year on Google Apps for Education at the secondary level. And there's lots of other teachers doing it at the elementary level, so there's lots of opportunities. The second piece is always ask for funding, and if you're really interested in learning, there's a I'm conferences here. that you can go to that you can get. I'm going to that one in April. The GAP, the Google Apps for Education one. Yes. Yeah, that's an excellent place to go because they'll introduce a lot of stuff that you may not know exists. Perfect. Okay. And they will introduce it to you, and I'm going to warn you now. You'll feel like you're in over your head. Yeah. But the thing is, we'll see it finally, and then it'll be back in there. So when you, it's hard, yeah, you know you'll think of an application hard. later, and yes. then you'll yes. know that it exists, and you go looking for the solution. Okay. So you have. Do you have handouts there? No. Is that online? Yeah. Is that online? Yeah. 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 Uh, for here. So that I can remember these things. I'm just firing up here. I'm just trying to see. Okay. There it is. Have we started yet? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I sent there. Almost all my data on Google Classroom. Okay, you ready? I'll give you some turn. Just do this. This is my YouTube channel for my library. And I create playlists. So my playlist right now, I have one that's not been in this called Google Classroom. And it right now is up to 13 videos. Each of the things that you do in second Google Classroom. Okay. So, I'm uh, two to four minutes. Oh, yeah. Only, uh, two to four minutes long. Okay, I'm in a different school board. Is there a way? No. Yes, you're just going to YouTube. I'm making it for everybody. I'm, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm on the I'm big in the Google share apps, apps so. YouTube. No, no. Uh, just go, yeah, go to YouTube. Regular YouTube. Any YouTube doesn't okay. matter. I have a, a, a channel for my, like I'm a librarian now, I went from Science Teacher Library. Okay. This gives me the most amazing amount of time to create these resources. Right. Okay, so, so I'm in YouTube, now what do I do? Yeah, this? YouTube, just go to the Y O YouTube, Y O YouTube, um, like this. and then search WCI Library. Like what? WCI Library. Mm -hmm. YouTube. Okay, yeah. then. And then click on it. Go into YouTube. WCI Library. And then Library Commons. Yep. And the <coughs> second row yeah. are my playlists. Created playlists. Yep. So for you, what you might be interested in ah. is the first one called Google Apps for Education and Google Classroom. Right. So I show how they're integrated together. Um, and there you go. There's the music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So if you see gap the gap and Google Classroom, how mm -hmm. to gap. Oh, so I can mark this. I can. Yeah, I can bookmark it. I can bookmark it. I learned to do that yesterday. It will. I'm only at video 13. I have five more to do. I just haven't had time this week right. uh, to finish them. <laughs> okay. Um, so the last thing I did is how to add teaching materials to Google Classroom. So because okay. they they your teaching materials reside in, in, in Google Drive. I was just showing you how to post oh, awesome. materials, okay. how to share materials. Um, I'm going to put this under teacher resources. So I don't have to do a screencast yeah. anymore, Carla. I can just direct them to yours. <laughs> so this, is all, this is all the same stuff I was planning on doing for, for the staff in my school. Oh, no, sorry. No, it's okay. Hey, yeah, no. It's all right. done it. Um, in time. my second one, I have 10 videos, which overlaps a lot of the uh, Google Classroom stuff. Um, what second one? What are you talking about? Oh, no, I have different playlists. Like, okay, for example, um, our okay. school board uh, reworked our library website. So I've been teaching, like, as a librarian, what I find is very repetitive and painful to constantly repeat over and over to each kid that walks in how to search for a book. Right. So I do these orientations with grade 9s, 10s, and 11s. And, and still in grade 12, they come to me, how do I find a book again? <laughs> So um, I've been playing with different things like QR codes right on the search computers so yep. they can scan yep. it with their phone and it opens up on the search page. Other things I've done is just pasted the uh, link to the search, but I made these one minute videos, how to find a book in the library, and they go to YouTube <laughs> and they can do that. So awesome. I've been playing with QR codes and um, these things. Um, uh, these things here, these are... Um, RFID tags, and you got the stickers. This one's a, a keychain one where I've got all my personal information on it. So if I need to give somebody you know, my address, phone number, email address, they can scan their phone and it creates a contact card with all my personal information for them. Oh, so, so it's like carrying a QR code with you all Yes, the but the back of the phone can actually read it. Like all the <coughs> phones can read these. Um, and I've been putting a few of these hidden around the library just with information on it. So. Um, <laughs> So the kids can scan up to it. They scan it. And what's really cool is it opens up the library search page, but then it turns their volume to zero. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I play around because they're reprogrammable. What are they called again? RFID tags. You can buy them as stickers. Okay. I thought I was going to put them stickers? into back of uh, books. Uh, one of the other things I'm doing with YouTube is uh, I'm doing something called Book Minutes. So I'm going to teachers and staff. They have 45 seconds to a minute to tell me why I should read this book. And then I'm sticking those onto the back of the book as a hmm. as a as a review. So were they all that thick? Though? Oh no no no! The other ones are stickers. This one's a keychain one. But uh, I, I realize that most kids don't have a phone that has because they have cheaper phones. Right. And they need that NFC on the back of their phone. So mm -hmm. Apple just had it added it with the iPhone six. Is the first time they've had NFC. Okay. Um, so it wasn't working so great. So that's why I switched back to QR codes. And then I just I put it, you know, print it, cut it out, stick it with some tape, and I'm done. Where did you get the stickers from? Uh, Amazon. They're fun. Um, I buy everything from Amazon. Yesterday I got a Chrome bit, so that's fun to play with. What's a Chrome bit? <laughs> <laughs> that's something you wear. It's no, not a um, thing, but um, it's a Chrome bit. <laughs> it looks like a USB stick that plugs into the HDMI port of your television, and it turns your television into a Chrome bit. Also, it's not like Chromecasting, but it's no. It's a full computer in the size of. But how do you? Where's your keyboard? I um, have a wireless keyboard. It has Bluetooth built in, so you can use any Bluetooth keyboard that has a touchpad on it, and you know. I think I have a wireless keyboard. And you're all set. It's even a USB port, so if it's not Bluetooth, you can still plug it in. It'll work. So. So that means at a, in our school board system, we don't have. Um, this kind of a whiteboard. This is an Apple product, right? Mm -hmm. No, this is smartboard. Smart 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 we have whiteboards yeah. um, from Brightlinks. So I have my PC is hooked up to the Brightlinks. So in other words, I could convert it yeah, you wouldn't that have into to. No, no, because yeah, now you're actually... You wouldn't have to, would I? Because yeah. I would already get Google up on... Never mind. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's, okay. um, Never mind. The idea here is... is to use um, the TV. If, if you have an old TV... Right. Ever wonder what California Oops, sorry. the mighty Alberta winter? Wait, wait, let's hear that. Sorry, I just hit that off. Um, it's, it's the idea there is uh, it's a portable computer, fast and easy. Like, I don't... For what I'm using it for, it's a little bit different. It's going to be 
um, in the library I have a, a 42 inch TV and I'm gonna plug it in the back and leave the keyboard there and I'm gonna but just leave it and see what happens and I'm gonna observe what kids do with it. Uh -huh. And then what you can do is you can turn it into a kiosk as well, so that it's permanently on the school, the library search page. So I'm going to do both experiments. I'm going to leave it a month wide open, see what kids do, and then I'll put it as a search, like a search kiosk. Mm -hmm. Can you do that too with like a, if you're traveling, if you're at a hotel, you put your yes. key in the back of the TV yes. that you're watching and turn it on? <coughs> yeah, and, okay, the real thing is you can then go to CTV and watch the shows you miss. <laughs> or the find app. Yeah. <coughs> but anything that like you go to YouTube on the big screen app, and it, it's not like the Chromecast where you need a phone and a Chromecast. This is just a one device. You just need a wireless keyboard. And we just kind of got way off topic. <laughs> what is our topic? Well, <laughs> 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 I think learn from Carlson. <laughs> I, I have a, a specific little question that you mm -hmm. me. Yes. Um, Can you Shared with me, I get tons of stuff shared with me from the kids. Yeah, excellent. So I learned to star them so that I know what I've marked because you know, mm -hmm. I want to get rid of them, but I don't want to get rid of them. How can oh. I create a folder to put them all in? Um, the in, in Google Drive, yeah. So, or in, yeah. yeah, so here's my shared with me. Oh, that folder. Okay, this There's is, all my stars. I'm going to warn you. Oh, okay. This that folder. Um, if you don't like it, don't look in it. Share it with me. Yeah, I don't look in it anymore because but that's where my kids send stuff to me. Yes, but don't look in it. Don't organize it because once you delete it, it's gone because you've taken it away. Say, here, student. I don't want you to share this anymore, so I deleted it and it's no longer shared with you. So. Because I have a little OCD sometimes, and I want to clean that up, put it in folders and stuff. Yeah. Don't. It'll make a mess. It'll break it, and you won't get back to it. So, so just I, I say, just accept the justice. just accept it and don't look at it. Instead, remember it's Google. Their search engine. Type what you want on the top, and it'll find it. Yes, that's what I. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you have to do. Because otherwise, <clears throat> now there is one more thing. I'm going with your mouse. If it's important to me, when I click on it, and you right click. I can move it by saying add to drive. Now it puts it into my drive and I don't have to look in that tab anymore. And I can put it inside a folder called Mark. But it See, still these, stays in shared with me. Yes, it'll always be there. But it'll still always be there. Yeah. Don't delete it. But what you can do now is you can add it to your drive so a copy of it is in your drive and then you can move it anywhere you want to organize. Okay. Okay, now at the end, of the, see I just started with this Pro okay. stuff. At the end of the year, is this wiped out or is it always here? Always here. Um, so I don't I, lose anything. Yeah, and we have unlimited space. So I've already used up nine gigabytes and I store student work. So, mm -hmm. so students make videos or audio recordings. I leave it all here because the board is paying for my storage instead of me. And uh, I leave everything here. So okay. your entire career, you can have exemplars from the first day you talked to the last day you talked. Yes. So could you imagine going back and looking at that? Or even looking at the power for the student. This is their portfolio from <coughs> kindergarten to grade 12. Yes, so in kindergarten, I take a lot of photo documentation. Fabulous, yeah. So what would you suggest? I've just started using it in Google Docs. So I could, I could take the photos right in Google Docs. Yeah. I tried Sesame. No. Okay, I that's a sesame. yeah, that's another great tool. Our primary sesame. Um, you you could see if your school board is a Google Apps for Education, yeah. you can share that folder to the student and have them create a copy. Like you know, it'll be with them. So should I create folders for the student? Is that what you're? So, no, well, there's no right answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there's there's what you want to do. Um, I, I think if I was teaching kindergarten, and okay, I'll tell you what I do with my son. This okay. might be have some application. I was tired of all these uh, kindergarten, grade one, grade two art projects, the paper mache. Like, I mean, his room was full of this right. stuff. Right. So I said to him, you know, we can't have this because you keep bringing more and more stuff home. So I said, let's start photographing it <coughs> and create a portfolio. And create a portfolio. So we started photographing his art, and we just made one folder yeah. in Google Drive. Kindergarten, and we put all the pictures for kindergarten in there, and then we made grade one, we put all the pictures of all his artwork in there. 
-hmm. And so we've got this portfolio, he's in grade eight now, so we have this portfolio of a lot of work for the last seven years. Mm -hmm. And it's neat because he can go back and look at it. Um, and you can throw it all in the garbage. Yeah, <laughs> but the better part, the more interesting thing, he probably hasn't looked at it, but when he's 25, I don't see Google going anywhere because I think they'll form the next government today. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but, you know, the options that are available now. Yeah. So, <laughs> you don't have this portfolio. Yes. We have, do you use D2L in your school? Yes, we do. Well, well D2L, it's from the ministry. It's a, supposedly a secure site to um, yeah. relay messages to parents and so on. I found it cumbersome to yes, use. Very, I very wanted to remind. I love reminding. Because I send out stuff to parents yeah. every day, and even an during class. And they can opt in and opt out. Exactly. Yeah, that's fabulous. So like However, yes. Remind as part us. of the D2L is also the e-portfolio, yep. and that's where our school's been going. However, again, it's cumbersome to yep. use. So because I'm already doing documentation in Google Apps, I was wondering, would it be Fabulous. I'll, if well, it was what? me doing it, probably set up the year, the class, each kid, mm -hmm. and then with each kid, you would put, say, artwork photographs mm -hmm. for documentation. But the next thing is um, you could do Sorry, can I get really techy for you? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Your phone could be a, 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 a way of documenting anecdotal <coughs> evidence every day. That's so, what I do. So you create what? a form with a drop-down menu with every kid's name in it, and because it has voice dictation, right. you create a form, you select the kid's name, have that text field open, do dictation into it, and it'll edit, add it to a form for you. And you can actually start creating uh, like anecdotal evidence for the whole year. Okay. Like, so I mean, like I we're way to... past. Like no, no, like we're way past. Like you have to create the form. You have right. to put some plugins in, like Doc Appender. So every time okay, you, what's a Doc Appender? It's know. a script that goes in Google Forms. Okay. So every time you record or record a, an observation, you have one document with the kid's name on it, and it just keeps adding all the anecdotal stuff. So whether typically what happens is you have a group of children, right, and they may be discussing something. So I will start. I will quickly go into Google Docs and start typing in what they're saying. And I'll put the kid's name with it. Change it. it. But uh, you can do voice typing. Why not just let it listen to the kid and do it? Oh, that'd be a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so... On your we're... keyboard, you notice the little microphone? Like when you have a, when you're going to fill in information. Oh, when I go into a Google Doc? <laughs> yeah, you notice there's a little microphone on your keyboard Hang on your on, phone? let's start one. You can do it from here as well. Sure, sure. Okay, so open up a new, new document. New document. Okay. Now for you, this is fabulous. So you could actually have this open because there's a microphone right here on the keyboard. Somewhere right around. Now, hit wait, tools. Wait, wait, wait. Hit tools. Oh, yeah. yeah here, 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 here. Hit voice typing. Oh, yeah. Now it opens this little icon. Now click on it. And start, uh, not there. Uh, now start talking. Image table. Now start talking. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Hit allow. Now start talking. Oh, now it's gone. Oh. Exclamation what are you line. Doing right now? Return. I'm in Google Docs. Page, next line. New line. This is a lot of fun to try. Question mark, exclamation point. New line. <coughs> we can actually have kids dictate directly into a word processor document instead of using Dragon Mattress of Speaking. Exclamation yeah. point. New line. Oh, oh see if there's a little microphone over there. I'm in Google Docs, but I do not see a microphone. It's not bad. She's trying. Yeah. Try it out now. Try it out. So for you, <coughs> like, oh my gosh, uh, yours. You see report card. Oh, which keyboard are you using? Um, I don't know. I think there is another keyboard. Yeah, let's, keyboard. Change. Keyboard. let's change your keyboard. And that was as simple as this, eh? Where did that come from? Uh, tools. Uh, tools. What is typing? Okay, let's try it again. This is why you come to these things. I know, see? You learn one trick and it changes your life. Yeah. Note to self. That's voice typing. Yeah. Note to self. We have to figure this out. We can play to tomorrow. Historical stuff. New line. you got to change your keyboard. Yeah. So, um, what if I make a mistake and have to go back? Then you use your typing figures. Oh, I can still use my typing yeah. figures while yeah. I'm doing yeah. this? Yeah, the whole thing is there. 
I saw something somewhere about. I don't want the LG keyboard. That's the thing. I want a different keyboard. No, no. <coughs> so may, may I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Today okay. okay. is the first day. LG phone too. Oh, Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just got it. Cause I didn't pick it up. Uh, Should. Did you click it? This, this was highlighted last time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, trying to change how this looks so I can see different Today? Today <laughs> is the first day of the rest of your life. Exclamation mark. New line. Allison is now wondering why she didn't come to this last year. <laughs> she is. Exclamation mark. New line. She has to help me go remember what we learned today. Oh, there's language they put. Oops. Took me a second. On your phone, this language. Uh, what do you want to do? Yeah. Why would it spell wrong? If, no, okay. it's the wrong there. Let's find out if it does yeah. the right it's there. Right. Can you say what we learned today? Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to do something with C. You have to be like right there. Enunciate really hard. Yeah, I have to see if it'll pick up the right there. Change a I'm just wondering how much background noise it will yeah. try and pick up. How do I change your new line? Oh, oh there there ah, there's the microphone. Have been you lost. can just copy, just Close speak, and it will uh, record everything house. you say. Exclamation point. Because new line. Isn't this they fun? Put them new there. line. So when the children are speaking, it's pretty exact. Is they oh, change the spelling? Okay, let's have a conversation. Okay. Because then how am I going to get their names in there? Period. Then that's what you do first. New line. Period. Uh, New line. Wait, 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 are okay. having a discussion over red blocks. Okay. <laughs> I got it. We are going to the store to I don't, I don't like this one. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You gotta turn on the Google keyboard. This LG keyboard's killing oh, me. Like well, I thought you did. A, I, it didn't work. It's like, here's the same phone, right? So, when I. Okay, so research. let me just open the new doc real quick. So, where are you now? I'm in Look at that. We just turned it into a how to session. My husband wants to do a little brochure for his business. What are we, what am I looking for? The LG keyboard. Yeah, we want. We want to change that to keyboard LG keyboard. Yeah, keyboard. keyboard. There's a whole lot of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I'm sorry, I'm just having a hard Smart input? No, it's just, okay. Mm. It's fine because you just okay, I'm just going to quickly set an e email. Work's always good. Thank so. you for coming with all the things that come from the way we think about. Yeah. Oh. So new, yeah. I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to set myself a message here. Yeah. And then see my keyboard has a microphone here. That's the Google keyboard. So I just do this. It's like a negotiation. Yes, it's That's the same. Cool. Voice I think control. you worked with Hudson is, and Braxton. Yeah, that's right. They're, they're both in my class. I was just going to ask you, is that right? They're both in grade seven, seven or eight now. Right yeah, one. they're both in my class. What's your phone doing? Oh, so you missed. He, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. he won uh, for president of the student council for the school. Is no way. Yeah. Wow. And he's always so trying to do more. Like I'm trying to get him so to work go back to the keyboard. more concise. Like you said the X. Keyboard comes back. He's trying to uh, he's trying to add fluff to assignments so to make them look good. Oh, I have to touch that. Very, that's very very minimal step. Step. Yeah. Okay. Big <laughs> 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 technology. Yeah. Try this out on your phone, maybe. Try the Chromebook. I have that Chromebook in my classroom, but then I can't take pictures. Are you are in St. Jacobs too? I am. Yeah. So we teach grade seven together. So I do the math, science, then she does. She teaches me history. So take the pictures in Google Docs, yeah. or oh, just the take the pictures Kim, and then do no. the. She's the one. I'm so Kim. I'll show you. Like, uh, here's my classroom. Yeah, Can you know, yeah. Sorry, yes. um, And where, where did she go? I have my phone. Um, uh, she went to a four five at Pruder. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, yeah. Let me see if I can just, just change here. Kathy Hughes, the principal there. Yes. Still? Yeah. Yes. So if you actually so type here's in uh, photos. Yeah. Google.com. Yeah. Um, I do almost everything on Classroom now. Oh, wonderful. So it's fantastic. Works. Yeah, and then, so there's his 
uh, different clusters, and but see how find oh, two areas of linear so instead of just writing the town like other people need cut and paste it. Oh, is that right? So that's say, um, this piece of work, mm -hmm. the from the picture of the world at night. Google oh, yeah, 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 yeah. to show the different patterns, and and some of the patterns. So, just so you're, you're using you're using P went and cut and paste yeah. little so areas of it, right? And sort of what's even so that gives you some idea of cluster right. So all the photos I just showed you, yeah, they're all here. Is really, um, so is that where I'm uh, So are you expressing yourself? Well, I take a picture, and I've, I've, I've asked, I've had form. him really slow down. Okay, so if and I take look a at what, like, instead of doing all of the right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if you <laughs> read here, he's right. done a very nice So I'm just taking a picture. Grammar and stuff now. Really coming Oh, yeah, you have to go to the picture first. Together. So yeah. there's the picture yeah. right here. So yeah. how's his, I mean, is his spelling? That's what I mean. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, 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 I, have, I haven't touched, touched that. Wow. The share yeah. yeah, so let's just have a look so at. you could put it directly so to the drive. Yeah, that's what I do. Um, and then you see, then it yeah. comes up. And so I if we look at. Change the account you want to use. So if you're using that account by Joel's work, you could even go deeper and look through the different folders. Add a folder and just hit save it. No, that's not there. It's got nothing there. So I could even add under children's folder. I could add more, more folders, folders, one for each kid, one for each kid, and then I can put yeah. it into there. So then I have the documentation. So now you see his separated. His grammar is not as good. There's yeah. capital. It's no capital. And here. here's the better part. Ready? It's yeah. coming. It's really coming <laughs> yeah. now. So you what you can do no now? Capitals or there's too many capitals. See, this was yes, right before. That would have been about October. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but it's yeah. coming. So he's doing quality now rather but than. Do you know if he's this? No, he's not. So you don't have now, the to new one. Right we have another. Um, mm -hmm. So now this is open. That has his own now, and uh, he's so trying to dictate. So these are But I think we're going to try this. Unlimited storage. So now your phones are backed up on your. That might be a simpler way for him. Always upload it. I Always wonder, can, can I do it on so that's the Google nice thing. Classroom? Let's check. You know, sure. Your Google Classroom is mostly just so the, what you uh, could do, so distribution and collection. Distribution place, anyway. right. So you can, you can so see what you have. So I go back to mm -hmm. a bunch of photos. Here, yeah. You can still share to drive. And, I go and you can put all the folders where you want them. So a okay. shared album? No. You can add it to where you want it. So you can say, uh, and then I go into oops, yeah. share as. Okay, yeah, I can always erase this later. Do all of your teachers now use Google Classroom? So Google Drive. Also, oh, it's not some. 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 Don't Who's the that uploads in Google Drive um, or comment on the photos in their class? It'll open, yeah. it'll start gone. saving them. She's right, right here yeah. in Google Photos. You guys have had pretty easy to get to know Because the other thing, yeah. piece I use is um, I then will take several photos and make a big collage and pop it into. Remind and send that out. That's to great. Yeah, you can still do that. So many Your phone is the most amazing, amazing tool. Oh, oh I know. That's why I got this one. Yeah. But you know, yeah. utilizing it. And so I'm glad you have the same yeah. one. Like, you know, oh my gosh, it's, I don't know. it's pretty powerful. It is amazing. <laughs> it's it's the best camera on uh, well, I know. Android. That's, right. that's why I bought it. Yeah. Because uh, I'm taking uh, photos. Oh, yeah, there it is. Time. With Kinder. Suggestion, though? We use the LG photo editor. Oh, Jane Weaver's still there, yes. Oh, really? The Absolutely. Yeah, she was teaching us a laser on the back. Uh, Bernice. For her Bernice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and Bernice. I found that Google one doesn't always utilize it. So sometimes my pictures are And then we have another great. teaching doing four or five. Oh. And she's using Google. Are they using Google? She's using Google. She's using the Chromebook. I don't know if she's using the Classroom. Yeah, okay. So I think the Classroom. I think the Classroom. I think the Classroom. So for me, these are the three seats on the six. This is Jersey. So that's the Google oh, camera, that's the LG camera. Teaching grade set. Which is the LG camera? Yeah, this one. That's right. It couldn't be. Well, that's um, the one he. That's, that's the one I'm still going to Yeah, it's the one I'm still going to need. Yeah, it's the one Say I want to play team. with uh, Google Cardboard. But when you step away and you come back, uh, 3D photos. I think you have to get okay. okay. yeah. yeah. it. It creates a photo can, that's up, down, there all around. Now right. It's a sphere, one photo. Oh, wow. So I use this, and then what I can do. Because I can choose yeah, the Yeah, that's the thing is, the then you'll have to go into the other room. And then you can use Google Cardboard. Well, he's got the heads up with the microphone, so it would cut down. Like the view. Yeah, that's true. So when the kids turn their head and that's stuff, true. like this he's Explorers to, program, have you seen that? He's been dictating stuff for Okay, I, uh, I signed up at Google Cardboard. Yeah, he's actually library, to get it. I did 18 sessions with um, kids. 
some yeah, ideas it's, it's down that are coherent and yeah. so audio. speaking about so it's like a tour guide. Right. And you can see everything. But there's yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then they go next and yeah. takes to the next location. Oh. And it's it's three sixty. And the thing is, the whole thing is controlled by tablet. So you see yeah, the kids are looking to show you where their eyes are, what they're looking at. And then you can tap a thing wow. and say, okay, okay, I'll put a flag down, and all the kids will look at that, and then you, oh, the teacher, if you know your material, can talk to them. But you go first, sorry. So these photospheres are things that you can create to do virtual field trips with kids. Now, the software's not out yet. Oh. Like, we were just a beta test, like, they want so. to see if it worked. Oh. It is amazing. Wow. It is really amazing. So that's available on my phone? Well, uh, so the phone what, is the hardware it. that drives these uh, no. virtual reality okay. goggles. You drop so the phone into the goggles I and you have a virtual reality headset. Each group like I bought their some for the library. So they're about 12 bucks. Industry. So they might be a government official, they might be uh, laid for, uh, industrial workers, they might be First Nations people, whatever, okay? And then they had to do their research. So these ones are 18 bucks, but they're all over the place. Question. They're just goggles. Then there was their answer, and they could put in well, there's $11, um, like so heritage that. minutes, whatever. Mm -hmm. But okay. virtual reality the goggles fun part was are cheap. That everybody when you just use your phone as the driving device could put in. Everybody from the class uh -huh. could it's work on the same document. Like, just to play with. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that so whole then they could do. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's so neat because then you can have a. No, our kids are really good. They work really well. So the response from the First Nations about this topic is that they could put all kinds of things like this. Yeah, and even when I'm going to walk. Oh yeah. And on the First Nations group, I'll take care of it. Or how the industrial women and children. I always carry a box in my pocket. And then I, at the end of the term, have some pieces. There's all the notes. So there was no paper. Oh yeah. yeah. You did your whole history paper, oh. didn't you? Yeah. Wow. Now, now the other one you had to tap into is Dan here. So right? there was all their What's going on here? Let me just look at my sessions. About every uh, we're doing Google Apps for Education, but we are just answering questions. We're going all over the place. So I have a question. How that worked? Then uh, if you're still going. But yeah, Dan so has so some people share the classroom. Class. Yeah, so everybody in the class had like access. For Google and Classroom, and edit on people for document document. Oh yeah. For assignment management, but I don't think that's your concern. I think you're. Yeah, like you're more it's, my, it's not about Sometimes science, it's for me, it's, it's, it's about documentation. That's the thought. Plus we're talking next door. Yeah. That, so. Documentation. Well, curation, right? Like that's yeah. the, the new, I think, okay. challenge for teachers. Yeah, exactly. Is to do it in a clean way. Right. And then and to be able to pull meaning from it when you need to report exactly. it, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. 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 We're talking about file organization. Well, right? we, we had yeah. no answer. So I'm not. Uh, <laughs> trying to yes, what my drive looks like? I'm trying to start to. <laughs> 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 I'm just getting started. I have, I have 12 gigabytes of data in here already. Um, me yesterday. See, I want, I want to oh, organize our SBT MDT oh, meetings um, in, a, in a folder. Uh, and I've shared the folder an hour to organize uh, with uh, you know, but it had certain people with yeah. yeah. But they're telling me that when I share a document, it doesn't always go to a folder. It just shows up and they shared with me. It does. It's a, it's it's a mess, right? right? How come when I share a folder, doesn't the folder just automatically Yeah, it's a challenge. So many things get rolled. Yeah, yeah. What am I doing here? So many things like untitled, too. They just do it quickly and then. Yeah, you oh, really? yeah, that's cumbersome. I find that too. It's like, how can I can I just put a title on it right away? Getting the title on it, I find no, difficult. In a doc, <laughs> if whatever you write on the first line, it will and come. And then up. if you click the to name it, it just yeah. takes whatever is the first line. I have to so, do that. Yeah. <laughs> that works. Yeah. But, but here's the thing: is it's having cons if you if you have a couple oh, classes oh, having consistent yeah. like oh, okay, well, you something and you yeah, 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 works yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I'm secondary, so. I put like the first three letters of my course code. Yeah. But then if I've got two sections of it, then oh, what well, you know what I mean? Yeah. So then but have that as the first stem and then what's the task and then you know what I mean? Kind of having a, a consistent well oh, just yeah, a consistent naming yeah. system. Oh, okay. Like yeah, so Alice Keeler is a person in the stage. She blogs a lot about Google Apps and one of her blogs was just about that. Like just come up with a system and decide what it is and just stick to it. And then you can search your drive more efficiently. Yeah. And for me it's where it falls into because I have a lot of photos. I have a naming convention that I swear by, which is always year first, month second, day third. Yeah. Even if you have nothing else in there, it'll keep everything sequential in the order you took them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Day, month, year? Or no, year, 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 year month, month, day. day. And it keeps them in order. 
So when you, you know how you can, you kind of have like a dashboard here. Yeah. Um, I'm just curious how you get apps to come here. Like I somehow got Blogger on there because I'm doing science blogs yeah, you with need my your kids. Blog. You use it once. Okay. So, but the kids have been trying to add it so they can get to it quickly. Okay. How do you get them there? Is I there a right way click to do it? See what happens. If I right I, click? Yeah, I just haven't done that forever. No, no, right click in an empty spot. Oh, okay. Sorry. Does it do anything? Whoops. Now you're going to make me. Mine curious. automatically went on. Look, the yeah, one I just that's, added. That's what I was wondering, too. Well, so it helps out automatically. Well, the kids all went to Blogger, but then it never went on to their Google. But I somehow got it on mine, and yeah. I couldn't tell them how I did it. And they were like, well, is that possible? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I right-clicked, and that's all I came up Yeah, with. I don't know. I think sometimes when you, as soon as you open it, it's just there. I, it, it really is self-populating. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't do it so for the kids, So just tell the kids though. to, to um, do okay. It Are you using Chrome? Um, Are you in Chrome? I think I, I'm in Safari right now. Initially, yeah. I had done it on Chrome. Yeah, do it in Chrome. Okay. Have the kids log into the Chrome browser. Okay. That's the most important step because then their bookmarks follow them. Then they can bookmark it. Then it doesn't matter what. Yeah, because some were adding to like the bottom of their Chromebooks yeah. too, like down yeah. here. Because mm -hmm. they were trying to figure out a way to get to it instead of going like more, even mm -hmm. more. In and some book just bookmarked the page. So the document in Chrome, they've got the apps little thing, oh, and so okay. you can. Uh, this is. What I would suggest is you can add in showed up and shared extensions and here, right? This is the most right. recent. These are just apps. Apps. All the time. Yeah, right. So that you could put. I think I'm going to try and add blogger here, and I'll tell you if it works. But that's one thing. But it's the main Chrome browser. Right. So it's kind of like an app. That's one option, maybe. But I mean, you just created your solution. Okay. Well, that I mean, that would be great because I'm hearing lots of people breaking the. Oh, I never got the. Yeah, they don't know. It won't give them notifications of you, anything you added. Yeah, that's the other. Yeah. That's the other. So question. add a new document. Okay. So. Uh, and what you'll see is you now get a warning saying that this document yeah. will be automatically shared, right? Yeah. Oh look, I've already got it. You've already got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then, so once you move it to your drive instead yeah. of the shared with me folder, it will stay there yeah. and everything else will. Yeah. Go. So the click the, the right click. Yeah. Um, See how it's already gone? That option is gone now? Yes. So okay. Add it to drive, uh -huh. and then it'll add it to your drive, and it's now. Excellent. And you tell them, them, tell them, yeah. you decide what level of sharing you want. So if it's yeah. a committee, you let everybody edit. Yeah. Um, if it's students, I only let them view. Yeah, and within one folder, I guess the way that you share the folder determines what they can do with the documents right. inside. Right. Okay. Yeah, it follows all the way. Here's the best part is if you do that, so say for example you create a folder called sharing, and then you have each of your classes in a folder inside of that, and then multiple documents inside of those, everything gets the same share privileges. Yes. So sometimes it might be convenient to not have the same share privileges within the same folder, but I guess right. that's not possible. Right, that's <laughs> not. Okay, all right, that's okay. No, so what you do is you create another folder, and you share that one, you tell them to add it as well, and then they can tell them they can organize it any way they have. So you might have a committee name, yeah. and then you could... Because sometimes yeah. different people come to the committee, right? Like a different teacher yeah. will bring someone else to the team, you don't want them to have access to all well, the documents. Well, then you, which could, the you could just share the documents view only, and yeah. add their name. Yeah. The, the simple way of doing it. Yeah, and then within the folder, so if, if the folder is view only, within the folder can I make some of the documents? Uh, yeah, like first, uh, for example, um, if I go back to my drive, here's a folder that's shared with me. Yeah. So if I I have permission, so if I open this up and I hit the share button, I can just add your name here and set that to view, oh, okay. and then I'll be able to share it with you as a view only, as a third party able okay. to view, but not part of the folder. Right. Okay. And that's just fine. The, just viewing a document. Yeah. So if you have somebody coming in and all they need is the agenda to a meeting, yes. you can share that to everybody all in one go. Okay. Good. But your committee executive would all have edit privileges. Right. Perfect. Okay. 